Well, we have, I have really big walls in the house, so went looking for art. And it just, it was too much expensive and not really what I wanted. So a friend of mine, Pam, invited me to a friend's house that she was going to paint. So I just went check it out, see what it was about. Went there, started. She used plaster on, it's called hardboard, which is just like a piece of wood. Started doing that, painted it, liked it, but I wanted to do larger and bigger things. So I asked a friend Kat, who was doing the class, asking her what could I use to make it bigger and lighter. And she came up with styrofoam. And I started plastering it and started painting and it just snowballed from there. Every time I see something I'm thinking, well I can do that. So I just tried to do it. And it just went from one thing to the other and I kept trying stuff and doing stuff liking it, putting it up. Then friends would come over and they're like, oh, where did you get this stuff? And I'm like, I made it. So no one really believed me. And then I'm like, well, I signed the bottom. So then they thought I bought the stuff and signed my name. And I'm like, yeah, I buy it and then sign it. So then I have to take them downstairs, show them the process of everything, just how I do it before anyone would believe me. So <laughs> I started making more and more and more and then people wanted to buy it. And I just, I never really did it just for people to buy. It wasn't part of what I was doing, so a little uncomfortable with that. But and a friend of mine owns Renovation Magazine, or was the editor. And I said, I got a good story for you. Pitched him my thing, and I had a three-page thing in Renovations Magazine. And I was in their show, and I just went from one thing to the other to the other. And I thought I wanted to be in galleries, so I tried that route. And that went really good. I won an art competition and I got to go to Vegas for eight months in their largest gallery there. But it was, I don't know, it was in Vegas and I was here so it's kind of tough to gauge how people like it and I guess interior designers really like my stuff and I sold a couple pieces but nothing. I needed the right person to see it so I brought everything back and just did all the local stuff. Some of the stuff I have planned, like what I want to try to do, picture in my head and do it, and sometimes I just go, and then whatever happens, happens. And like what it starts out as usually isn't what it ends up as. So it's totally different. And the art community wants the, what does this mean? What's it symbolic of? I have no idea. It's basically I fell down, banged my head, and this is what I come up with. <laughs> Well, it's not, no, because I'm not a writer or anything, so it's not some big, mythical, whatever journey. It's just, I don't know, I like these colors, and this is how it turned out. I was really into it for a long time, and then I had some stuff happen, and I, so I stopped doing it for the last three years, two and a half, three years. And a friend of mine, Jody, absolutely loves my stuff, and just, just was so positive about it and whatever else. Gave me the confidence to try it again and start doing it again and bring it out and show people and start doing it again, so.